Hello televiewers, especially kids and parents. Welcome to Ag Amazing TV. I am Sir Jesse Guzman and I will be your teacher in Science 5. Are you ready to explore the enchanting world of science? Now, let's go! Hello kids, Sir Jess here. No first quarter, ang pinag-aralan natin ay tungkol sa changes of matter. Ngayon naman ay magpo-focus tayo sa living things and their environment. But first, what do you mean by reproduction? Reproduction is an important part of life of all living things because it ensures the continuity of life. Humans, animals, and plants have one thing in common. They all reproduce. When one or two living things produce their offsprings, they are involved in the process of reproduction. Male and female human beings have observable differences in their body structures that enable them to reproduce. Let us first identify the parts of the male reproductive system and its function. This is the image of the male reproductive system and these are the functions. Number one, to produce and deliver the male sex cells called sperm. Sperm cells also called male gametes or spermatozoa. Tinatayang 100 million sperm cells ang kayang iproduce ng testes. They swim around in a whitish fluid called semen. Semen. These are the fluids with sperms na lumalabas sa urethra. Number two, to produce a male sex hormones called testosterone and androgen. First male hormones na meron sa lalaki ay testosterone. Ito ay napuproduce din sa testes. It is responsible for the development of the male secondary characteristics. Androgen maintains the normal functioning of the male reproductive system. Number three, to discharge sperm within the female reproductive system. And number four, to produce a secret male sex hormones. Unlike a woman, most of the man's reproductive system is located outside of his body. These structures include the penis, the scrotum, and the testicles. Penis, an elongated muscular organ full of blood vessels and meron din siyang number of sensitive nerve endings. Sumahaba siya during sexual intercourse. It is also a common pathway of urine and semen. Sperm cells into the female's vagina. Scrotum, it is a pouch-like structure of the skin. It protects the testes. It hangs behind the penis. Tinatawag din siyang climate controller ng testes. It maintains 2 to 3 degrees Celsius temperature lower than the body temperature. Testicles na pwede din siyang tawagin testes. They are the oval organs. It looks like large olives na nasa loob ng scrotum. Ang mga lalaki ay may dalawang testes. It is a gland that produces the sperm cells and male sex hormones called testosterone. Ngayon naman ay dadako na tayo sa internal part of the male reproductive system. Epididymis. It is a narrow coil tube that stores sperm cells. It carries and storage of the sperm cells that are produced in the testes. And it is also bring the sperm to maturity. Since the sperms that emerge from the testes is immature, 
and incapable for fertilization. Seminal vesicles are sac-like pouches attached to the vas deferens. It contributes to the production. A sugar-rich fluid which provides energy to the sperm cell's motility. Urethra, it is a passageway of both urine from the urinary bladder and semen from the glands. Vas deferens, it is a long muscular tube that serves as a passageway of the sperm cells released from the testes. It also connects to the testes, to the seminal vesicles, and the urethra. Copper's gland, it is also called bulboretral gland, one of the two pea-sized organs found beneath the prostate glands. It is responsible for releasing fluids that flashes out foreign matters and neutralize the acidic urine in the urethra. Prostate gland, it is a gland located between the bladder and the penis. It produces fluid that nourishes and protects the sperm. Trivia time! Alam nyo ba na ang lalaki ay naglalabas ng watery and clear na semen? Bakit kaya ito nangyayari? Ito ay tinatawag na oligospermia. When the sperm count lowers down in semen, ibig sabihin nung mas pababa ang semen count na nilalabas ng lalaki. Kaya nagiging clear at watery ang semen. to get an amazing score that ends my discussion i hope that you will learn something today again this is sir jesse guzman saying be an explorer be a discoverer be an amazing you this is amazing tv